what is going on everybody, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, I hope you lot are doing oh so well and welcome back to another video and today's video is a Chelsea news video on this boring and uneventful, or is it, international break where I'll be giving you updates about Callum hudson Adoy exploding onto the international scene on the 21 level, Willian maybe getting a new contract with ex-teammate Frank Lampard really getting the best out of him as his new Chelsea manager, Billy Gilmore wanting to go on loan last summer but Frank Lampard convincing him to stay, and rather sad unsavoury scenes for young Christian Pulisic and the US men's national team. So, a lot of stuff to get through and some interesting stuff in there, but quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy and hit the bell notifications icon because I upload daily. I want you guys to keep up with all the football and Chelsea content. Right, some quick praise for Boy Wonder. A quick word on Callum hudson Adoy, who played for England's under-21s against Austria. And you know what? Callum hudson has played a little bit for Frank Lampard in the first team this season as he's been coming back from injury. He's looked very, very good on the ball, very dangerous. As I've previously said, he always looks to offer something different in the Chelsea side. Obviously, has already bagged himself an assist in limited game time. But this game for England was the perfect platform for him to really explode back onto the scene and demonstrate his elite quality. And the teenager does have elite quality. The young Englishman scored two goals and both were fantastic finishes. One was, quite frankly, a ridiculous goal. If you have not seen these goals, I would <laughs> I'd urge you to go on YouTube and check them out. He had a superb performance, and that will do the world of good for the young lad's confidence as he returns back into the Chelsea team, looking to bang some more world-class goals in the Premier League, Champions League, hopefully across all competitions. Hopefully Frank Lampard will be watching that and rubbing his hands together and thinking, mm, he's got to go straight back into that starting lineup for Chelsea. Next up, Willian, Chelsea's surprise package of the season in terms of how well he's been performing under you know, ex-teammate Frank Lampard, but now new manager, who apparently is getting the best out of him. When you think about Louise left in the summer, probably because he couldn't deal with the sort of ex-teammate telling him how to defend, then explaining he probably wasn't going to feature much. You know, you might think the same thing would have happened to Willian, but Willian has exploded on the Frank Lampard of late. And remember, Willian started really poorly the first couple of games. But although his contract runs out in the summer, there is talks of an extension, and Willian was recently asked about Frank Lampard and what it's like playing underneath him, and he said this. Willian was commenting on Frank Lampard as a player, he said, he was an intelligent player, one of the best in his position, a quality player. When you see players like him, you can say, maybe in the future, he can become a manager, and he's here with us. It's a bit weird he's my boss now, but I'm very happy to work with him again. He's given me confidence to play, he wants me to be happy. A part of the performances I've had in the past couple of games, I have to dedicate to him. He always says to me, I want you to be happy. That's why I've been playing like I have been. The freedom he gives to us is important as well. I don't have to stay on the right hand side, I can move around. I can move between the lines, I can move to the left as well. As you can see, Willian is pretty darn happy with playing under Frank Lampard. It's really interesting to see how much Frank Lampard values Willian as well. He's obviously sat him down and been like, dude, I want you to be happy, you're the top boy, you're the number 10, let's see what you've got. All credit to Frank Lampard, it's working, Willian's been an immensely important player for Chelsea, and not just in terms of freedom of expression, um, creating chances and scoring, for defensive work rate as well, he's been an absolute, you know, role model on the pitch. So, it's, he's, been, he's been a really important player for Chelsea, and you know what, I would not be surprised if Frank Lampard is pushing the club to give Willian a contract extension for maybe at least 12 months, although I think Willian would want at least two years. But to be honest, if you think about it, I've said it before on this channel before, and I'll say it again, maybe a two-year extension would make sense for Willian, because Chelsea could still sell him next summer and make a profit for him. People still want to buy William. They off, you know, a lot of clubs see value in him. Juventus, Barcelona have for a long, long time. Chelsea could do really well for an extra 12 months of William. You know, go through the transitional period. Some youngsters develop under him. Hudson Odoi, Pulisic, maybe a new winger, etc. And William, like I said, is being a role model and setting an example for all other attacking forwards at the moment. And it's nice to hear him say such positive comments about Frank Lampard. And as things stand, there seems to be a really positive harmony. So I guess two more years for William? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Next story is on young Billy Gilmore. The lad from Scotland bought from Rangers, brought into the academy. 
Very, very talented. Looks like your 12 year old little brother, but is actually an absolute baller. Apparently, he wanted to go on loan last season, which sounds like a negative thing, but it's often really positive. It's basically players taking the initiative to try and get some competitive first team game time. So really, they can muscle themselves back into the first team at Chelsea, but Frank Lampard did not want him to go on loan. Here's a quote from Billy Gilmore. In pre-season, the manager had a chat with me saying he knew I wanted to go on loan, but he said it would be better if I stayed. Obviously, it's working. He's looking at younger players. With the transfer ban, it's hard, but it's good experience for us. Hopefully, I can try and get some more first team games. Gilmore goes on to say, he talks to you normally, tells you you're doing well and says keep up training and just to keep my standards up and I'll get a chance. This is great news, it shows there's an open line of communication between Billy and Frank Lampard and he's in his thoughts. Chelsea might be flush for midfielders, but you know what, it's a big statement for Frank to say no, don't go on loan, I want you here. Um, which is good because we've seen Billy Gilmore play and he's an absolute baller, he's a technical player, he's got a sort of touch of the Cesc Fabregas about him which is really nice and although I like many have the concern of him being quite a slight small player, he's from Glasgow and he puts himself about and it doesn't look like the physicality of the game is any problem for the young Scotsman. Expect to see Billy Gilmore feature more maybe in cup games or you know coming on for sub appearances in the Premier League again which is a great positive for the lad. He's obviously rated incredibly highly by Chelsea, the academy and Frank Lampard. It does also make you think about Ethan Ampadu on loan away at Leipzig at the moment not having the best time, not really getting a sniff under Julian Nagelsmann. Obviously, they're doing really well in the Bundesliga, but for me, and for a lot of people, Ethan Ampadu was much more further down the line in terms of his development, very good defensive player, less creative and attacking than Billy Gilmore, even if they both play in the same space, one's more defensive in Ampadu and probably one's more technically gifted in Billy Gilmore. But Chelsea probably could have done with the hardness of Ampadu a lot of the time. I'm not sure Frank Lampard wanted him to go on loan as well, um, but on the face of it, Leipzig looked like an excellent loan for a multitude of reasons and had he been playing in a team that's flying high in the Bundesliga, it would basically ferment that fact of it being an excellent loan, playing under a coach who's supposed to be, you know, love playing youth. Anyway, things haven't worked out that positively. Maybe Ethan Ampadu will get recalled in January, who knows. And finally, some less positive news to end the video on, on Christian Pulisic. The US national men's team lost to Canada for the first time in 34 years. After losing 2-0 to the Canadians, which was a pretty disgraceful loss really for the Americans, manager Greg Berhalter, I think I'm saying that right, uh, was trending on Twitter for all the wrong reasons afterwards. They needed a goal and he basically substituted Christian Pulisic off the pitch. The Americans would then go on to lose the game and quite sad, saddening and unsavoury scenes of Christian Pulisic sitting on the bench looking rather upset and distressed. Now things aren't going too well for him at the moment and it's upsetting to see really because he is a very talented player and he's a young man at the end of the day. No matter, even though he does have a lot of experience in first team football, he's still a young guy finding his way and obviously men at that age, you know, between whatever, like 18 and 30, can be incredibly emotionally vulnerable. Uh, it's a difficult time, especially when you're a footballer and you're growing up in public, and he's made this big move and things aren't going that well for him. Hopefully someone like Frank Lampard, who does have a lot of sort of emotional and uh, social intelligence, can take him under his wing a bit more, and there is good camaraderie at the Chelsea camp. People speculate negative things because he's not getting the minutes, but there's a lot of, it's a good group at Chelsea and hopefully they can, you know, help build up his confidence, he can get some minutes and he can start performing again because Christian Pulisic is a very, very talented footballer and when he finds his feet again, all this will be a distant memory. Hopefully he scores a competitive goal for Chelsea soon and the smile will be all across his face and he's getting embraced by all his fellow teammates and basically he can find some more confidence and start balling yet again. Anyway, what do you guys think? Comment on everything I've said in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts on Hudson Adoy, on Willian's potential new contract, on Billy Gilmore maybe muscling his way into this Chelsea team. What do you think about Ethan Ampadu's negative loan spell at Leipzig? And how do you feel about Christian Pulisic getting subbed for the US men's national team? Want to hear all your thoughts? Get down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the content today, everyone, please do like the video. Remember, you can join the Football Therapy Discord server if you want to talk to me and loads of other people in the chat server. Link in the Patreon 
link below in the description on malfunctioning. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. And remember, if you want to laugh at me playing FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode and indeed play a career mode, you can subscribe to my sister channel Yan Plays where I play FIFA. I'm getting better, but I'm still not that great. It's pretty funny, so go and check it out. Um, yeah, subscribe, Yan Plays, it's a lot of fun. That's it from me, everyone. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby.